My name is Nicola Querci, I'm Italian from Bergamo. I live in Brussels since uh, 2011, so for quite a long time. And uh, I am the author of uh, Brussels, uh, the beer capital. What's the book about and why did you write it? Uh, so it's, uh, it's a guide, it's a beer guide of Brussels. Uh, I interview all the brewers uh, of the breweries based in Brussels. And then I divided uh, uh, Brussels in different areas. For each area, I suggest uh, a beer tour uh, with the best place uh, where you can uh, drink uh, or taste uh, craft, uh, craft beers. Uh, I write this book because uh, uh, as a beer lover and uh, a beer passionate, uh, I am uh, also a beer sommelier from the Beer Academy Academy. I noticed that the last guide uh, was written uh, uh, 18 years ago by uh, Joe Stange, an, uh, an English journalist, uh, and uh, Ivan de Baet, uh, the brewer of, uh, of um, Bersari de la Seine. And so I wanted to offer to people like me a book that is useful if you want to discover uh, the exciting uh, beer scene of, uh, of uh, Brussels. How has it been uh, uh, accepted? I mean, how many brewers did you count in your book? Oh, I counted uh, 18 uh, uh, craft breweries. Uh, in addition, uh, I decided to interview also um, some brewers from some uh, beer form or gypsy brewers, uh, because probably they will uh, install a brewery uh, in the town and also because I wanted to offer a complete picture of the, the Brussels uh, beer scene. Uh, the situation is evolving, probably we will have uh, some new breweries in the near future, probably we will miss uh, somebody in the future, and so I, I, try, I will try to keep updated my, my guide. What's the state of the Brussels uh, beer sector? We know that uh, it's grown even during COVID and the economic slowdown. Do you expect there'll be a shakeout or do you think it's quite healthy? I think there is a small room for improvement. So there is uh, still space for uh, other craft breweries with small moviolum. So it's not possible to have uh, any more uh, uh, giants like uh, Brasserie de la Seine or Brussels Beer Project and uh, of course uh, obviously neither uh, Brasserie Cantillon but there is, mo there is uh, still a room for brew pub like for instance Brasserie de la Mule, uh, like La Source uh, because uh, uh, there is, uh, people is searching for local product more and more and so I think uh, there will be more opportunities. Uh, the situation is a bit different for uh, beer bar because uh, uh, with the growth of uh, um, craft breweries and especially brew pub, it's, it's difficult for them to, to, to satisfy the, the request of, uh, of, uh, of, the cus of, of their customer or the clients. So I see a positive, uh, probably a positive development for the brewery side and uh, beer bar they will have to struggle more. How does the craft beer sector here in Brussels and Belgium uh, fit in with uh, the traditional Belgian beers that are known? You know? Very good question. One of the brewers that I interview uh, he told me my father uh, doesn't like my beer. Uh, as you well know, uh, Belgians uh, love a style like a triple, double, uh, they have veneration for the Trappist beer. Uh, the new actors in Brussels, they are pushing more on the new, let's, let's define it, new styles. So on the IPAs, uh, uh, kind of porter, sour beer. Uh, but I think uh, Brussels is a city that uh, deserves uh, uh, a big offer, so places where you can uh, drink uh, traditional Belgian styles, but also places uh, where you can uh, try the, the new exciting styles that uh, uh, are coming from the US or from uh, from UK. What is the dominant style uh, in the craft sector? Is it the US styles or are they reaching out to other styles? No, at the moment uh, uh, the new producer are pushing more and more on uh, uh, different uh, IPAs uh, varieties uh, and uh, on sour beers. 
uh, I notice a big, uh, a big push on sour beer. Uh, not the traditional one like the Lambic Goose style, but more uh, American oriented uh, uh, products. Where do you think the Brussels beer sector will go? I think uh, that's a good question. I think uh, we will. Uh, we, okay, we have not the possibility to uh, reach uh, the um, level of uh, cities like London or Paris because uh, obviously the cities are bigger. But uh, we will have uh, a richer choice in the coming months uh, and year and uh, we will uh, have uh, uh, an exciting offer for people who travel, who travel in Brussels in order to drink beer or also for, for people who live here like us. You, you came here, uh, how long have you been in the city? Uh, since uh, 2011. So and how has it evolved? I mean, what brought you to beer? <laughs> it's, a lo it's evolved a lot. If, if we think that uh, until 2010, in Brussels, uh, there was only one brewery, Brasserie Cantillon. Then everything started with Brasserie de la Seine, then uh, in Stomelings, uh, Brussels Beer Project, uh, and other actors uh, came. Uh, now, yeah, I counted 18, uh, but probably next year will be 19, even, even, uh, even 20. So it changed a lot. And also, it wasn't easy to find uh, foreign beers uh, in Brussels when I arrived. And now, no, there is a there is a good uh, a good a good uh, good choice also on this on this side. And uh, based on this book, you'll keep it updated. Do you foresee writing any more books on beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to write something about uh, the beer scene of the Poyotland because uh, yeah, it's growing a lot. And my dream is to write a book about uh, about the Belgium, the entire Belgium. So let's see. <laughs> All right. Well, you're going to have a lot of competition, I think. <laughs> I, I I know I know, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, nice talking to you. Thanks a lot. Thanks.